Hello guys, I hope you are doing fine. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can find a relation between the slopes of two perpendicular lines, which are M prime and M. As I told you before, these two lines are perpendicular, so we can actually make a triangle, a right triangle, and use the Pythagoras theorem to actually do something with it. So I draw this line, and we have two intersections with the two lines, which are 1 and M, and 1 and M prime. The good news is that we have another right triangle and the two sides are 1 and M and we can calculate the other side. And again, another triangle that I show you by green and uh, with the sides 1 and M prime and we again use the Pythagoras theorem to actually find the other side. Now let's take a look at the bigger right triangle we have and we talked about earlier. And you can see that M is a positive number and M prime is a negative number because it's below the X axis. So if I want to find this length, I can write it as m minus m prime. Because m prime is negative and minus m prime is something positive. So again, we use the Pythagoras theorem for the big right triangle and we can write it like this. So if I expand it, I can see that we are left with just minus 2 m m prime is equal to 2. And so we can here find m multiplied by m prime is equal to minus 1. And here is the result. We can find the slope of the perpendicular line to the initial line as minus 1 over m. There is another way we can prove this by using a circle. Look at the circle. No matter what, we are just looking for some right triangles because they are very good. In the previous video, I talked about run and rise. And you can see that in this blue triangle, the run is A and the rise is B. So we can say the run is positive and rise is also positive so the slope is positive and in the green right triangle you can see here which is related to the second line we can see that the run is b which is positive and the fall here is negative so we show it by minus a now to find the slope for the first line we can write it as m equals b over a but for the green one we can use it as minus a over b if I multiply these two slopes, I can find that it's equal to minus 1 and we have the same result as we talked about earlier. So the equation of the line perpendicular to our initial line y equal mx is y equals minus 1 over mx and this is the perpendicular line. But what about the parallel lines? Can we write some equations for these parallel lines easily? We know that the slopes of these two orange lines are m but the intercepts are different. One of them has an interception in 0 and B and another one has the interception is on actually 0 and C. So we can write the first equation as mx plus B because just the intercept is different. And the other one is mx plus C because the interception is different. So parallel lines have the same slope m but different intercepts. 